Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss on any of our awesome science videos. Today's video is part one of a two-part series where we will cover two of the four major sources of evidence of evolution. The four major sources of evidence of evolution are the fossil record, embryology, comparative anatomy, and molecular biology. In this video, we will cover the fossil record and embryology and how they provide evidence of evolution. So let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I can explain how fossil records and embryology provide evidence for the evolution of species over time. When Charles Darwin first proposed the idea that all species descend from an ancestor, he performed an exhaustive amount of research to provide as much evidence as possible. Today, the major pieces of evidence for this theory can be broken out into four parts including fossil records, embryology, comparative anatomy, and molecular biology. In today's video, we'll answer two questions. First, how do fossils demonstrate that species of organisms have evolved over time? And second, how do studying embryos show that species of organisms have evolved or changed over time? Let's start off with fossil records first. Fossils are a window into the past. They provide clear evidence that evolution has occurred. Scientists who find and study fossils are called paleontologists. How do they use fossils to understand the past? Consider the example of the horse shown below. The fossil record shows how the horse evolved. The oldest horse fossils show what the earliest horses were like. They were about the size of a fox. They had four long toes and their molars or back teeth were short and flat. This suggests that they lived in marshlands with short trees and bushes that had soft leaves. Through time, the climate became drier and grasslands slowly replaced the marshes. As a result of the environment changing, the population of horses slowly evolved over time to best survive in the new environment. If the marshes were replaced with grasslands, then the soft leaves of the marshes were replaced with tough grasses and seeds. Their molar or back teeth became longer and covered with cement over time to adjust to the different type of food supply. The evolution of their teeth enabled horses to grind tough grasses and grass seeds without wearing out their teeth. Also, if the marshes turned into grasslands, the horses that were taller could better see predators while they fed in the tall grasses. This gave them an advantage over shorter horses. Take a look at the fossil record. Notice how horses grew taller and taller over time. This was also in the horse population best benefit in order for them to survive. Lastly, since the marshes turned into grasslands, four toes were no longer needed to move around. It was more advantageous for horses to have fewer toes so they could move around faster. Fossil records show that they evolved a single large toe that eventually became a hoof. This single hoof allowed horses to run faster and escape predators. All three of these pieces of evidence from the fossil record show how natural selection occurred in the horse population to allow them to better survive in their changing environment. Question: What do you think the fossil records of humans tell us about how and why we evolved as a species over time? Take a second, think about it. Put your answers in the comment section below. Now let's see how comparative embryology provides evidence of evolution. Comparative embryology is the study of the similarities and differences in the embryos of different species. Similarities in embryos are evidence of common ancestry. As a result of this common ancestry, embryos in many species appear similar to one another in early developmental stages. Let's look at the following example. Notice how on the first stage, all of these vertebrae embryos have a tail and the same number of gill arches. The structures of embryos are homologous. Homologous means that the structures have the same or similar functions from common shared ancestors. For example, hands of humans will be similar to the two feet for hogs. We use our hands for grasping items while hogs use their two front feet for walking. Notice how they are in the same location and embryonic stages of development. Could you tell which of these is a human, chicken, rabbit, or turtle just by looking at the stage of development? By the second stage, all of the other vertebrates lose their gill slits except for fish and salamanders. By the third stage, some of them also lose their tail. In humans, the tail is reduced to the tailbone. This shows that similarities organisms share as embryos may be gone by adulthood. Therefore, it is valuable to compare organisms in the embryonic stage. This also shows that they have shared evolutionary history. Question. What do you think has led to the developmental changes in the species of embryos from stage one to stage three? Think, pair, and share with a partner, and then share your responses with your teacher. In summary, both fossil records and embryology show how species change over time in response to their environment. 
Fossil records show that the structures of modern day organisms are a result of environmental pressures that cause species of organisms to evolve and adapt over millions of years to better survive within changing environments. I wonder what would horses look like 100 years from now? A better question would be, what would the environment look like 100 years from now? As we all know, the environment dictates how species evolve and whether or not they survive or become extinct. Embryology shows us how similar some of our species are from the very beginning. This suggests that we had a similar common ancestor and have evolved through speciation to fulfill different niches or functions in life. Stay tuned for part two of our two-part series breaking down the evidence of evolution where we take a deep dive into how comparative anatomy and molecular biology provide evidence of evolution. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with explaining how fossil records and embryology provide evidence for the evolution of species over time by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell icon so you don't miss on any of our awesome videos. Peace and have a positive, productive day.